name is Chris Clark, and I'm going to talk about North Korea. They've been in the news a lot lately. They, they, they're a belligerent country. We all know they're, they're a bunch of thugs and gangsters. And, and you know, we try to give them this food aid, and we, this, we try to cooperate with them, and they always go, you know, they always uh, break their agreements. And so I'm going to talk today about what we're doing and what they're doing, and I'll wrap it up by sh talking a little bit about this agreement that we had with them back in February called the Leap Year, Leap Year of Faith deal, because it was done on uh, the Leap Year Day, February. And <clears throat> that was supposed to be a big agreement with the new regime. But as you can see, they're, <clears throat> they're always doing these nuclear tests, and we're trying to keep them from doing that. And here is a map showing just how scary they are. This is, North, this is South Korea, that's North Korea, on a regular nine. That, that's how weird they are. <laughs> and here's a picture of the missile that they're going to launch. I looked at the news this morning, and they haven't done anything yet. There was a window that they were going to do it between Monday and today. And they said this morning that the weather was bad over there. And if there's wind blowing, they really can't. <clears throat> Launch, so they might be postponing it. But they're having this big meeting over there where they're going to elevate the new leader to another position. So they're having, so maybe they won't launch it. I hope not, because this thing is scary. It can go into orbit. That means it can hit anybody anywhere, which threatens the United States, of course. So that's why we're so concerned about it. Now, here's their buddy, China. I just wanted to show you on a map. And in the north part, uh, this is the capital, and they're losing they're losing the grip on their people, even though they have an iron grip on them. But up in the north, people actually use cell phones, and and they have a little more freedom up there because the regime is weakening gradually. So that's good. But they get all their assistance from China. China gives them food and oil, and that's what keeps them floating because we're always trying to help them. But then they renege, and then we have to cut off their food aid. So you don't want their people to starve, you know. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to uh, point out what they've been doing lately. Uh, and we all remember back in March of 2010, they used a midget submarine to sink a South Korean ship, and they killed 46 sailors. And this was all happening while they they had spent the past year maximizing their nuclear weapons potential. And according to Christopher Bluff, he's a professor at the University of Leeds in England. And he says our relations with them have been the lowest in the last 10 years. So we were making a little progress, and now it's, it's going back downhill. And Mr. Bluff also says that the regime is very insecure because of this new leadership. They had the the granddaddy that started in 1948, and then he died in 94, and then the other guy took over, and now we have the little, the little young guy. So <laughs> that's why they're so schizoid, because they have this, this little young guy there. And so that's why they're more threatening. But they have these severe economic pressures, and they want to have diplomatic relations with us, and for us to reduce these sanctions that we have against them. And so we have to be prepared for whatever comes with these people. And <clears throat> as you can see by the map, our biggest ally is Japan. In Japan, <clears throat> you can see how close they are to North Korea. And we have, <clears throat> we have some military uh, things that we're doing with Japan. We have like 50,000 troops in Japan. And <clears throat> so that's good. And since 2009, they, that was their last missile launch, which failed. Uh, our, our advancements have been spectacular. And we have this thing called an X-band radar that left Pearl Harbor on one of our ships last month. And see how back over there, they're just crazy. And here's the <laughs> missile site launch. But anyway, we, we had this radar that left on a ship last month from Pearl Harbor that can track a baseball from 2,500 miles away. So it's so just since '09, the, the technology has really advanced. In Japan, oh, this is the funeral. 
these people would get arrested if they didn't show enough mourning during that funeral. And I just wanted to point that out. Here's their military. All the food aid that we give them, they always want grain. And what they do is they divert it to the military, and they don't give it to the people. And they can sell the grain on the back of the black market. So that's why we had that leap year deal that we were going to go in with 45 uh, observers to make sure it got to the people. And we weren't going to give them grain. We were going to give them something called corn soil, corn soy rule. So here's a Japanese ship. There's missile interceptors on that. Here's one of our ships. And here's Obama that went over there just a couple of weeks ago to talk to, to the leaders in South Korea. And here's President Obama looking over the border. So we're doing all we can to contain these people. But like I said, they're just a bunch of thugs. And, and according, to, according to the Union of Concerned Scientists, and this missile, just, just to finish up, this missile is very dangerous. And, it, and it, they have modified it, and it can go into orbit. And we, we really need to shoot it down. I hope to shoot it down. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bruce. So let's shoot it down, okay?